Almost 10 years have passed since EA and Maxis released The Sims, a combination of virtual dollhouse and people simulator that initially seemed like a gamble, but quickly blossomed into a huge hit that tapped into the mainstream market like few games before or since. The creation of famed SimCity designer Will Wright, The Sims lets you create virtual people and control every aspect of their lives. Altogether, the series has sold more than 100 million copies, making it the most successful PC game franchise of all time. Now it's time for The Sims 3, the first major update in almost five years. The Sims 3 should be a huge leap forward for the series because the focus is no longer on a single house. Instead, The Sims 3 will introduce a virtual town populated by dozens of other characters going about their own lives, and they'll find love, get married, and have kids on their own making it feel like a real, live place. Meanwhile, your characters can go across the street or across town without ever hitting a loading screen, which means you're no longer spending your entire day around the same house. If you have a family of characters, you can seamlessly jump from one member to another, whether they're hanging out at the park, studying at the library, working out at the gym, or just lounging on the couch at home. The Sims 3 is also less about the mundane details of everyday life and more about having fun. In the first two games of the series, your characters had to go to the bathroom constantly. In The Sims 3, your characters have much stronger bladders, and they only have to go to the bathroom once or twice per day. That means that you can focus more on telling stories or trying to accomplish your character's wishes and dreams, whether that be falling in love or stealing candy from a baby. You'll also create much more realistic people. The series of personality sliders from the first two games which let you alternate between extremes such as lazy or active, are gone. Now you can mix and match up to five different traits to create almost any kind of personality. These traits range from athletic, to flirty, to kleptomaniac. EA likes to say that The Sims is about telling stories, and The Sims 3 will let you record movies in game that you can then edit on The Sims 3 website. You can take your finished creations and share them online, posting them to sites like YouTube. You'll also be able to share a lot more, from custom furniture patterns to characters themselves. The Sims 3 is in the final weeks of polish and testing at EA, and we've had a chance to see the game running several times now. The good news is that you won't need an expensive PC or graphics card to run the game. We've seen it running on a new MacBook with integrated graphics just fine. Yes, that's right. The Sims 3 will ship for the Mac in addition to the PC. When you put it all together, it's clear that The Sims 3 promises to be a huge leap forward for Simkind and gamers alike when it ships on June 2. It will also be the game that helps to usher in the second decade of The Sims.